Well, I spoke to you. I don't know if you remember. We've talked three other times. I do remember. Each completely. time you you didn't remember, but this time you do, so that's good. We spoke. No, I, really, I really do. I feel bad I didn't remember. <laughs> I remember that I didn't remember. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you remember the name of the guy who gave you a bad review 30 years ago. Yeah, that's um, really weird, isn't it? So he's getting more cred than you? That's not fair. Maybe I should have trashed you. No. Then you would have remembered. So, but this is so much better. Look where we are now. Now we're so pals. We spoke. Now you'll come, to, you'll come to the show when I do Vancouver again. I've so we, been to your show many times in Vancouver, I, yeah. But, but did you come backstage? Yes. Thanks for remembering. <laughs> you have brown hair. I'm bald. <laughs> I, no, I didn't mean on your head. <laughs> <laughs> and what yeah. club is it? Are they designed mostly to spread COVID? Well, I mean, in ideal conditions, yes, absolutely. You fit 400 right. people in a room, but... Do they wear masks? All staff does, sure. That's, okay. Do they check temperatures? Uh, I haven't been there in a couple months, uh, no. It should just be rectal, and I yeah. should give them. Yeah. <laughs> I would do a show if I could check everyone's temperature rectally, yeah. and then... My fingers are pretty good gauge, right? Absolutely. Yeah. And then if anybody's a real idiot, you just put that thermometer in their mouth and say, no, now we're, now we're checking regular, just mouths. But that was in that guy's ass. I know. I, it's, everything's fine. He's COVID free. Wow. So It's a new ass to mouth, huh? Oh, wow. I never even say that. I don't understand why ATMs are called that. They should really change the name. They, they should. It was like that diet candy called AIDS, A-Y-D-S. Oh, that yeah. Had to, I remember they, that. And it, it had to be discontinued when it was outdone in popularity by something that's one of the worst diseases uh, a homophone. that can exist. I've, I've tried both, uh, both the <laughs> diet candy and the disease. And I would, I think the candy's better. Bob, um, you can't make jokes like this anymore. I, you know what? I don't know what to do. You, here's because, what you have to do. You have to go back to your evergreen material and do crack of my butt. Oh, I love you. You brought this up to me before. This is yeah. how I remember crack you. Crack of my butt. Crack of my butt. You and Rich Jenny were the two people that liked that bit. And it was on an <laughs> HBO special called uh, In the Dream State that I buried. So you can't see it. And, but it was a funny bit. It was. It was crack a of my butt to you, Bob. <laughs> it was a guy that was operating a train, a children's train, and he was hung yes. over and his jeans were down and you could see his butt crack and there were children on the train <laughs> and he took the tickets and then he talked into the mic and he was very depressed. He was like, OK, we're we're going to have take off now. And as the train took off, he said, please keep your hands and arms inside the crack of my butt at all times. <laughs> he wasn't saying crack my butt, but that's what I thought. That's all and you it, could think about when and seeing it was like it. a spin, a uh, yeah, what do they call them? Pin spot, like a spotlight right on the crack of his butt. And then the train started taking off, cracking my butt, cracking my butt, cracking my butt. <laughs> and it, if you look to the right, you'll see the cage of cheetahs coming out of the crack of my butt. No, your <laughs> <laughs> my favorite was keep your arms and legs inside the crack of my butt at all times. That's <laughs> right. That was, the, that was my five minute hunk from that special. <laughs> the rest should never be heard or seen again. Oh, come on. You're too hard on yourself. That's how you get better, I guess. I guess, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>